Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another Make a Card Monday video. Today I'm using this new Paper Hug stamp set. This is a stamp set that I designed for the February 2015 card kit. The stamp set is available separately from the kit, or you can subscribe or order the kit and get the stamp set with a bunch of other goodies. So I'm starting out by taping down some Strathmore watercolor paper onto this board here. I'm going to be doing some Distress Ink watercoloring, and I've already cut down that watercolor piece to be four inches wide by five and a quarter tall. And the four colors of Distress Ink that I'm using today are uh, Festive Berries, Picked Raspberry, Spun Sugar, and Seedless Preserves. These are all pinks and reds and purples, and it's going to create a really fun Valentine's Day watercolor piece. In fact, I attempted this watercoloring three times. This is the third time when I finally decided on the exact look that I was going for, and I'm going to give you some tips along the way so you can get a similar look. So I'm wetting down that watercolor paper quite liberally. I want lots of water on the paper so that those ink colors really move when I apply them. Then going to pick up some of that color. I'm starting with festive berries and I'm just dabbing it in a really small spot. It's going to spread out quite a bit so I want to keep it really contained to this really small area. I want to, I want to keep quite a bit of white on the card and this is going to be the entire card front so I need to make sure that those inks don't spread out too too far. So I'm adding on some of that picked raspberry and seedless preserves. Then I'm picking up a little bit of that sponge sugar and just adding that to the edge there. You can't really tell that there's sponge sugar there too much, so I probably could have skipped that color altogether, but I did like the idea of having a really pale pink involved. So notice that I'm just adding color to that corner area, and I'm not going to spread it out anymore on this watercolor piece. And that's because as I add even more water with my uh, Mr. Bottle, all of those colors are gonna blend out even more. So I had, because I wanted the area kind of to fill most of the card front but have a lot of white, I really wanted to keep it to just that small area so that as I add water, it's not going to completely fill the entire piece of watercolor paper. So I'm just kind of tipping it around and then I grabbed a paper towel to sop up some of this water that was collecting on the edge. I didn't want it to have some strange, um, like having the water sopping back into it because then you get sort of these weird drying spots. So I didn't want that so I needed to sop up some of that water on the edge. Then took my heat tool and completely dried it and it turns to this really smooth, faded color. I think it looks really, really nice. And you, in order to get this look, you just have to remember to only add color to a small portion of your watercolor paper. You want to keep it very, in a very small area so that as it spreads, it doesn't get too big. Now I'm going to take my Mr. Bottle and just mist my hand and add some water droplets onto this. This is because while I was experimenting those two previous times when I did this background, I really discovered that I liked having water droplets on it because it created sort of like a bokeh effect. And that bokeh look is pretty popular. It has been for a few years. I think ever since like Instagram filters started having bokeh effects, I think it looks really, really cool. So I'm just uh, tipping my board back and forth and this just moves that water within the water droplet area. It moves the water back and forth and picks up some of that ink. Then I can pick it up with my paper towel. And because Distress Ink reactivates with water, when you add the water droplets, it sort of pulls up the ink from the surface of the watercolor paper and it has a bleaching effect. I think it looks really, really cool. I'm going to add a few more water droplets. I just wanted to get some more flicking motions and some smaller water droplets onto the watercolor piece. So I'll just flick those on and I'm not going to let them sit for too long, but I am going to pick up my board and tip it back and forth quite a bit to try to get those colors moving or the water moving and I'll just pick it up with my paper towel. And that is pretty much the background area for the card. I'm gonna hit this with my heat tool one more time to make sure that everything is dry before I move on. And then I can go ahead and start peeling up the tape and removing this from the board. Now, as you remember, the watercolor paper is cut to four inches wide by five and a quarter tall. So I'm not even going to do anything else to this 
card front except for add a greeting. The greeting I'm going to be using is the one from the stamp set that says, Will You Be My Valentine? I'm going to be heat embossing it with white Hero Arts embossing powder. So I prepped that area with my EK Success powder tool. Now I'm stamping the greeting in Versamark ink. And I'm just going to press that down onto the area and I'm really making sure I press the center of that greeting because it is quite a large greeting and I am stamping onto textured paper. I'll add some Hero Arts white embossing powder and then I'll just shake off the excess until all of those areas are completely covered in embossing powder. I want to make sure that I get as smooth of an impression as possible. I'll hit that with my heat tool until it's completely dried. And then I'm going to start assembling my card. The card base I'm using today is 110 pound Nina Solar White cardstock. I scored that at five and a half to be a top folding card. And now I'm using this big mama roll of foam tape. This is from Simon Says Stamp. This is different than the regular 3M foam tape that I have used in the past. This foam tape is actually, I think it's even thinner than the 3M. The 3M I think is, uh, eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch thick. This is might be might be one thirty second of an inch. It's just enough to add dimension. And the other thing you have to note about this foam tape is that it doesn't tear. Like you've seen me add foam tape in the past where I can just tear it with my hands. With this tape you really do have to use scissors and non-stick scissors are best. I'm adding some sequins and I'm picking those sequins up and running them through some Ranger multi matte medium and then placing onto the card. I'm picking the sequins up with a quick stick tool. And that is the card for today. Super simple and easy. I think you could recreate this card over and over with different color combinations and different greetings and it will look just as fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching. Just a quick reminder that all of the supplies used in today's card are listed down below in the video description or over at my blog in the coordinating blog post. You can get to that blog post by clicking on my web address kwarnerdesign.com up in the top corner. On screen are three more card videos where I use watercolor or distress ink uh, watercoloring techniques. So if you want some more ideas on what to do with that, you can click on any of those. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And just a heads up, there is a class giveaway at my blog today. So make sure you visit. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for a new card video.